sore? Yeah. I am so sore. Oh! Oh! I feel so old. When you say mental health, I think of a blank canvas because that's what I looked at all the time and I didn't know what mental health was. I didn't know how to describe it, define it, picture it. And I feel like it's a blank canvas because no one talks about it and it's so vague and uncomfortable and not pretty to look at. I started track when I was four. Pretty much the only thing I could remember is track and field and I set my life goals around track. Track is everything to me. Like since I was four years old, I've always wanted to go to the Olympics and I've strived and dreamed of being the best athlete in the world. As a long jumper, Tara Davis rose to great heights. At Agora High School in California, she set national high school records in 2017. She went to the University of Georgia and burst onto the scene as a freshman, helping the Bulldogs win the 2018 NCAA Indoor Women's Championship. But circumstances on and off the track derailed her time in Athens her sophomore year. I started going downhill after I got mono and I was in bed for like three weeks. I wasn't practicing. Along with my parents getting a divorce, I then get two fractures in my back and that's where kind of my depression started, I think. At the beginning and going to University of Georgia, Coach Petrus and I were so close and he was almost like a father figure to me, but we just didn't see eye to eye. He didn't understand what I was going through deeply and I like to talk about my mental health because it's so hidden and it's so scary to talk about and I think coaches and athletes should be able to have that, I don't know, relationship to be able to express your feelings and I, I feel like I didn't have that with him. Our relationship just went downhill and it, it kind of sealed the deal. Still recovering from fractures in her back, Tara transferred to the University of Texas in January 2019. Because the Longhorns were among the list of schools that Georgia would not permit a transfer to, Tara was forced to sit out the following indoor and outdoor seasons. When I first got to Texas, I was the most fragile little human being. She was just kind of like Humpty Dumpty, just cracked and, and she was broken. Um, you know, her spirit was down. She had lost a desire to be the world's greatest athlete. 2020 starts, I thought it was gonna be the best year ever. I'm healthy, I've been training like no other. January hits and I broke my foot. And I sit out for six weeks. I've never rehabbed something so hard in my life. I've never wanted to get back into track and field so hard. And those six weeks happen, COVID, we're done. Season's over. I think it was one of the biggest challenges she's ever been through. Since she's been four years old, track has been her life. That was the one thing that she leaned on and was kind of the identifier of her life. And then it's like, it's all taken away at one point. And now it's like, well, who am I as a person? Like, what am I here for? Like, what is my actual purpose if it's not track? I kind of like started thinking, like, should I be in this sport or not? In December of 2020, I made a pros and cons list of quitting track and field. It went beyond consideration of quitting track. Like there was a decision in Tara's head that I'm done with track, I'm gonna quit track. Mentally, I started deteriorating, like not doing well at all. Depression is, it shows differently. At Texas, I think my depression did come from not competing. My life is track and field and my life revolves around track and not doing something that I love and only practicing and only doing rehab every day didn't show where I was in the world and didn't show that I had any like reason to be here. I did have suicidal thoughts. Um, I struggled with suicidal thoughts for two years. My brain felt like a scrambled egg and it's almost like I'm building up to just explode and I can't calm down and I'm, I, I could never catch my breath. I could never catch a thought and once there was like no going back, I would just spill and cry and just hyperventilate and panic and it's almost like I'm drowning. I think when I found myself again was after talking to my therapist and 
She really got me to open up and I would not open up about anything. She helped me understand my feelings. She helped me understand why they're happening or how I can control the uncontrollable. And I think that was probably the biggest, you know, step towards my progression in mental health. I mean, I kind of just started living life. I was like, I can't control everything. I can't pinpoint whatever th thing's gonna happen, but I can live a life and I can live it freely. She started wearing bright colors again and the, the smile came back. And then 2021 season happened. <laughs> Tara Davis from Texas is having the season of her life. There's the new collegiate record holder, former Georgia standout. In 2021, Tara had a historic season in long jump. She captured both the NCAA indoor and outdoor long jump titles, becoming the first Longhorn, man or woman, to sweep those crowns. And eventually, Tara broke Jackie Joyner Kersey's 36-year-old outdoor collegiate record. After the season, she fulfilled her childhood dream by making the U.S. Olympic team, placing sixth in long jump in Tokyo. It was like two or three years of just hearing people talk down on Tara, like say that she wasn't good enough, why she's not gonna succeed, like all of these things, like horrible things. And finally seeing her come out of that, it was almost like a moment of clarity of like, this is what all that was for. This is why we went through all these things because in honesty, like it made those moments so much sweeter. It made them so much more worthwhile because then it was beyond an achievement on the track. It was like fighting through something so much more deep. Power, I feel power looking back at my mental health because I got through it when I didn't think I could and I just used all, literally all my power and all my might to get out of that state of mind. And not to say I don't have it still, I do and it comes and goes and that's normal, but power and time is what you need.